Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill John. You know, I say that you can always call in with questions. You can leave a voicemail at 866-581-0221. Today's call in is actually not a question, but it's pointing out that one of my past podcasts, I'm kind of gave a bad tip. Let's take a listen. Um, the tip you gave on the scroll area, I had tried that tip before in the past, but as far as I know, there's no way to save that setting when you save your workbook. When the workbook's reopened, doesn't it just return back to normal? Wow. Okay, so this goes back to a tip from August where I talked about how to use Alt F11 and then go into the properties for a worksheet to set the scroll area um, to be a specific cell. Sure enough, when you close the workbook and reopen it, that setting is lost, making it completely useless. Uh, the scroll area is a great way basically to keep someone from going out into the hidden rows. So you can set your scroll area up to be, let's just say, A1 through H15, um, and then they can't go out and unhide any rows that you have to the right-hand side. Oh, I didn't realize that, that setting was not saved with the workbook. So let's see if we can do just a tiny little bit of one line of VBA to make this workbook always re-inherit that setting. VBA is not a scary thing, although if you've never been there, it's going to look a little foreign. To get there, we hit Alt F11. Alt F11 will take you into the VBA window. And on the left-hand side, you should have a project window. And usually, the project might be sort of collapsed. So we want to open that project window, open Microsoft Excel Objects, and then double-click on this workbook. That'll get us into the code for this workbook. There's two drop-downs at the top. The left drop-down, we choose Workbook. And the right drop down automatically changes to open. This is the code that's run every time that the workbook is open. So the code worksheets, open parentheses, and the name of the sheet. So in this case, it's sheet one, close parentheses dot scroll area equals A1 to, let's say, J10. And basically, then every time that this workbook is open and someone has macros enabled, uh, that little macro will go through and reset our scroll area. So that way, people will be forced to stay in the area. Hey, thanks for the call. That's a great one. Anytime I say something that's not right, I want to know about it and see if we can find a better way to do it. So there we go. We're amending that old netcast, a better way to set the scroll area using VBA. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.